What's up everybody, we're back with another video. Now, today's video, I'm basically gonna be uh, talking about new projects that I've been thinking up about. Uh, Cause in the last video, I was talking about how I've come to the end of the projects and I was just stumped at what to do next. So I've had some time to think about what I wanna do and what I wanna bring out moving forward. So before we get into today's video and we talk about all of that stuff, please go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, ding the notification bell, Follow me on Instagram where you guys can get daily updates on what goes on here in the fish room. As well as if you do like my videos, please share them with people so I can get more views uh, and more follows because that'd be great. But to get into today's video, I know I'm sitting in front of this tank, but this tank isn't really going to be changing anytime soon. Actually, I say that, but changes have happened that were supposed to happen without me really doing anything. And that is pretty much the pothos. The pothos is growing tremendously fast and eventually it's going to be you know make this tank look very jungle-esque uh, above and hopefully we can get it you know kind of like creeping across towards that end of the room so that it starts to take over the other tanks it'll it'll just look i want this room to look really jungle-esque uh obviously what i'm thinking about doing is probably repainting this because there is some um damp spots and mold growing, so I need to take care of all of that, redo the room, make it look a lot nicer. That's definitely a project uh, that I'm gonna do in the next few months. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is just doing a cost breakdown, making sure I've saved up for it and whatever, before going ahead, because it might be quite expensive just to repaint the whole thing. Uh, I might do some decorations in here just to make it look a bit more like a fish room as opposed to a garage, which is what it is, uh, and tidy up some of the crap that's kind of just lying around that we don't really need in here. So the next thing that's going to happen, and it's more likely to happen in the next few weeks to a month, is I'm definitely going to be re-scaping the cube tank. Not the, the big cube tank with the cichlids in, no. I'm going to be re-scaping this tank. Now, currently, the only thing that lives in this tank is my parrotfish. And from the looks of it, it hasn't really torn up my Valacinaria much. And that's a great thing because I want the Valacinaria to do well. So what's going to happen is when I move this tank underneath the cichlid cube tank, it's going to be run on an air pump instead of a filter. So what I'm planning on doing is on the left hand side, I'm going to pretty much make an L shape. So about six inches out from the left hand side, running down the left hand side towards the back and six inches from the back, running all the way to the right hand side in an L shape. I want to do a planted uh, tall sort of stemmed plant. So I'm looking at adding my Valacinaria in here, maybe doing some Amazon sword plants, as well as some, uh, the, the Cessula flora, I can't remember the full name of them, but some of those as well. Uh, and then do a sand bottom for the remaining cube or a square patch that would be there. Uh, and in this tank, I'm thinking I might do some guppies and some mollies, uh, twofold. I'm thinking I might do that as a live food source for my gar because at the moment sourcing live food is really pain is a big pain in my rear end uh, so I might just start breeding them and start feeding them to the gar uh, also you know they are quite they are a quite lively fish anyways uh, and they're not going to tear up my plants too much so I don't have to worry about that uh, I would still like to do angel fish in that tank but I you know I, I'm still trying to get over the fact that I lost all my angel fish that was that was a bummer and a half uh, the two and a half foot aquarium which held my first Asian arowana which I revealed to you in that whole surprise I have an arowana that tank is probably going to stay empty for the most part and that's simply just because that is going to be the designated quarantine tank I'm not gonna have anything in there there's nothing to hold in there that's gonna be bare bottom that's that's not gonna be touched the final tank I would like to rescape would be the gauze tank but the gar Pretty much like their dark environment they're not really big enough where i want to be spooking them so i'm going to leave them hopefully you know when i get this live system put in place they will start to feed more they'll put on some size i can move them out i can redo the tank and i can think about doing something with it um or i've got another thought in mind i'm not 100 percent on what i'm doing yet uh but i might sell that aquarium move the current four foot aquarium that's above it below and get a proper 4x2x2 by two by two aquarium because the current 4 foot aquarium I have is 4 feet long, 15 inches from front to back and 18 inches tall so it's about half the capacity of what a true 
full by two by two aquarium actually could be. Uh, and you know, it just give the fish a bit more depth to swim around, a bit more height. It would probably look better. And it would be from ND Aquatics if I was to get it. So it would have uh, proper sliding lids and, and I wouldn't have to worry about it being difficult to like get my hands in there or anything like that. Um, and then I don't know what I'd do with the four foot aquarium. I might leave it as the Turtles Aquarium and that might just be their sole aquarium for the time being. Um, but those are a couple of things that I've been thinking about. Uh, especially, I really want to do the the Cube Aquarium. That's definitely next on the list. Um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I get the... I, I've uh, been doing a few job applications. I had an interview today. So hopefully I get the job. If I do, great, I can start moving forward with these projects because uh, I've resigned from my old job, so at the moment I have no income. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, money management when you're keeping fish is not the fun thing. But if I can do that, that'll be great. And then I've got another project I want to do for the three-foot aquarium, but I need to actually learn how to build all the stuff I want to do for that and obviously test out if it could work. And if it does, I'll just make a video straight. I'm not going to bother like teasing you guys with that one. Uh, so that, that's a maybe. So we've got at least three projects in mind at the moment. So rescaping the tank, redoing uh, part of the cube tank, and then redoing the fish room. So that's hopefully, hopefully I'll get all of that done by the end of the year. That's what my plans are moving forward. Uh, I don't really have any big projects coming up, so just yet. I, I still do want to um, see the reason I, I haven't got any big projects is because I'm in two minds. Mind one is I try and shift this aquarium to the right about four feet and I will open up the left hand side of this room to a larger aquarium that I can build. Or, and that, that would include having to build a new stand for this and I can, you know, store stuff underneath it and, it, you know, but it'd be really strong. Um, or I, I might buy the, um, those fiberglass ponds. I'm not really sure yet if that's the way I want to go or because I don't have the, the Paco anymore, I'm no longer rushed or pressured for time to get this out ASAP. I have more time to think about it and, you know, decide whether... I'm going to be staying here for the next 10 years or if I'm going to look to move out after five years, you know, it just gives me that sort of how much am I going to spend on this sort of deal. Um, but, you know, I do I do think building another aquarium would be fun. I certainly had fun building the stand in the aquarium for that. I It will definitely be a plywood aquarium. I'm not going to be doing glass. That's way too expensive. And obviously, if I need to tear it down, that's just going to be a waste of money. Um, but the, the, the why, the, why little, 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 the reason why I'm in two minds at the moment is just because the price of wood is quite expensive and if it ends up being cheaper to buy the fiberglass pond I might as well do that but of the, they both come with their own challenges obviously building the tank comes with its own challenges structurally making sure it's safe and sound doing the hard work to put it in put the glass panel in whatever doing the the fiberglass pond it's easy it's already put together the only pain in the rear end is opening up the garage door because that's been sealed shut. Uh, so opening that up, bringing it through, and it's going to weigh like 300 kilos, so it's going to be really, really heavy. Uh, so I'm probably better off trying to build the aquarium, but again, I'm, I'm going to see how it works out in my head. Um, yeah, because if I can shift this whole aquarium four feet to the right, I can make that aquarium around 14 feet long. No, that's a lie. 12 feet long, sorry. Oh my god, I was like, wow. I can make it about 12 feet long, however. And if it's 12 feet long, obviously, these guys will have plenty of space to swim about and grow and, you know, it'll be like 12 feet by 3 feet by 3 feet, something around that. So it'll be fairly big. Um, and then obviously, looking forward to doing the whole filtration side of that. That's definitely something I'm going to do, is the filtration. Uh, but, you know, my mind's currently swimming on stuff, and I, I'm, just, I'm glad that I figured out that I actually had stuff to be looking forward to because I've been sitting there for the last few days just thinking, what am I doing with the fish room? What videos are they going to make? What am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wait, 
I, I need to keep this tank. So that's definitely the first thing to come through. And I'm really looking forward to doing it. And obviously, the reason I'm looking forward to it is because the two foot tank is still two feet tall, so the valve will still look quite nice in there. Uh, but the reason I don't fill it up all the way at the moment is just because it's, it's sitting on the floor, it's a glass bottom, and there's nothing underneath it. So I don't want to put any extra pressure uh, that I can avoid putting onto that tank. So I'm waiting. I, I literally don't have any reason to not be moving it underneath and filling it all the way up. In fact, I could do that in the next few days. In fact, you know what? I'll do that in the next video. By the next video, that tank, the cube tank, will be over there underneath the cube, uh, the cichlid tank. Because I, I'm just sitting there letting it sit there for no reason. It doesn't need to be there. It can be underneath. Um, and at least I can fill it up all the way and you can start to get a, an idea of like what it's going to look like with plants in it. So that's it for today's video really. I know it's a bit of a ramble, but I was just quite excited to tell you guys for future products that are going to come through. Obviously you guys get to see these guys. It's been a while that I've sat in front of this tank. Um, and you know, they're doing well. I fed them today as well, so they, they're all full and happy. But like I've said, since the Paku has been moved, this tank is just... I have no complaints. Hold on. No, I have no complaints. These guys don't make me look bad on camera anymore. Seriously. I miss me. But yeah, no, everyone's doing fine at the moment, which is really good. And... I'm just really happy with where I am in the aquarium hobby at the moment, so... I've had my ups and my downs, but I'm definitely on an up at the moment, so... Definitely something to be pushing forward for. So thanks so much for watching, you know, I've, I've waffled on for way too long. This video is like 13 minutes long now, I don't really need it to be that long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content I bring out. So please like, subscribe, and share these videos if you do so. And as always, peace out.